Hey, you guys. I have something to say. I always have something to say. Um, but as you guys can see the title, this is about the subject of traditional wives, mothers, um, and why people have such an issue with it. I am speaking out on it personally because I've talked about this on my channel before. Sorry about the view of the camera. But I've talked about this subject before, on camera before, and I guess I'm just using my freedom of speech rights here. Um, my personal point of view of this is that I don't understand why so many women, so much women, I don't want to label them and just say feminist because everything wants to put a label on it, whatever, but whatever we want to put a label on, forget the labels just for one second, but I will say this much, I don't understand what's the problem with certain women, not all, obviously not all, um, needless to say, but not all women uh, desire to be out in the field and working and uh, being out 40 hours a week every week. Listen, I can't put everything that I feel into one video because sometimes I have thoughts in my head that I just, I'm not recording at that moment, so it doesn't all come together and I never do my videos off of a script. But I will say as much that comes to my mind right now that's always in my brain back and forth, but it's just so much things and so much reasoning that it will just be a super long video. One day I'm going to do one of those super long videos where I'm talking probably for like an hour. Incredible. But... The problem that we have, again, that will go into my book of the current crisis, the trickling effect on modern day slavery, about mind slavery, which happens in all races, but particularly with black folks, is my book is going to be focused on, that I, it's in progress, that I'm working on. But anyways, back to the subject about traditional wives, whatever you want to label them, trad wives, hashtag trad wife, whatever. Um... I do have a problem, unfortunately, in my opinion, with other women who have a problem with women who decide not to work at 40 hours a week, who decide to take care of their family and prioritize their family and their husbands over societal worldly stuff. I mean, it tells us this in the scriptures that we have duties as a woman and we have duties that we're supposed to fulfill by the order of the Lord, not by necessarily the order of what society has put on us throughout all these decades and generations. So when we go back to the real root of it all, God has things written for us. Just as plain day, I'm saying easy English here. God has our life written out for us. He has had our life written out for us. This is my beliefs only. I won't put this on anybody else watching this video, but God has mapped out our life for us. Our scriptures show us and clearly tells us the message that we need to know as women and what we need to do just like in Corinthians and Psalms and everywhere else that tells us what we need to do and what we shouldn't be doing, just like Jeremiah 7 and what would happen to us when we do certain things. And um, there are things that we're supposed to do according to the Lord's word. So if you do it for that reason, then you'll notice that your purpose, you have a higher purpose and is much more higher than that college degree that you're trying to go for. Granted, I did college too. What did it get me? Nowhere. Now, I'm not saying that college doesn't get anybody anywhere. All I'm saying is that it's we're all set up for the woo-woo. Not only were black folks set up for the woo-woo, okay? But then you're even set up even more. If you're a black female, you're set up even more for the woo-woo. And then you add in white, Asian, uh, anybody else you add in, Native American, it doesn't matter who you are. We have been set up for the woo-woo to believe, especially in modern day society, that us women should be trying to convert ourselves into men. I'm not talking about um, the LGBT community here. I'm not talking about that because my daughter's gay. Well, bisexual, whatever you want to call it. I say gay. Um, I was bisexual in the days. The reason why I said back in the days is because I had like one experience when I was 18, which um, I remember very vaguely. We'll never forget it. So I'm not going to sit up here and act like, ah, oh, 
you know, it's no, I don't have any of those beliefs. I love everybody and anybody, and I don't care what you do. So let's put it, let's put it out there. I love everybody and any anybody, everybody and anybody and everybody who knows me, who has ever came in contact with me, or even has watched my videos, they know I'm very transparent and I'm very open with my stuff when it comes to those things. Now, granted, I will tell people I'm not about to, uh, you know, bring a whole camera crew up into my house and record every spot in my house. No, I'm not that open. But I'm open in the form of just being direct and not going to speak on information or give advice on something that I've never been through or I have no idea what it can cause or how it can make somebody feel while I'm giving advice in my video. Anyways, with that rant. So I do have a problem with these ladies. Um, and, and that's the problem that we have in society is that uh, I feel, again, my point of view, that there's a lot of women trying to eliminate men from the equation. No. Single life is not the best life. Maybe for you it is, but we need to stop sending this message out to every woman around the nation through these videos, especially through TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram and all that stuff. We're sending bad messages out when you're getting online to tell women, oh, no, nah, you need to go out, do whatever you want. Don't listen to no man. Don't let no man control you. Don't da 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 you're ruining these these young ladies from a young age. You're showing them and you're clearly blatantly telling them they don't have a need for a man, which is not true. The Lord will tell you that in the scriptures. He made men for a reason. Okay, so we do need men just like they need us as women. And um, the lie is now, you know, uh, penetrating these young people children's mind and they're already growing up at the age of 13 talking about single life is the best life no 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 because what ends up happening yeah this sounds raw but it's the reality i don't care how bad it sounds it's the reality so what ends up happening is that these single want to mingle girls end up singly mingling opening up their legs and now they end up pregnant by some random tom dick and harry don't even know what their baby daddy is because they were more worried about the single mingle life and what they saw on Instagram and, you know, these girls out there like that, that they lost concept and then they weren't taught the right way. So then they end up being, fast forward 40 years, the trickling effect, they end up being single or all these issues because they never did the right way and they weren't taught to do it the right way and they had to go through the trials and tribulations everything that most of their parents didn't want but for whatever reason it happened that way but a lot of these things happen because a lot of parents kind of fall short of teaching their kids exactly what they need to know okay and what's important for them especially for the young girl children so um you know, it just, it kills me. So, it, you know, I, I consider myself a traditional wife. Um, does a traditional wife mean that you need to be perfect and you need to do this, this way and that way and that way and the third? No, it doesn't mean that at all, actually. Um, nobody's perfect. You know, he's trying to root for perfection here. The Lord knows we're not perfect. But we're expected to complete and do certain duties as women and not get upset about it or get online and tell people you shouldn't cook, you shouldn't clean your husband, shouldn't this. We are embodied from the man, just like they are embodied from us. We both need each other in that essential way, in every which way we need each other. That's the way that God set it up and he set it up perfectly for that reason. We need each other and we'll progress faster that way. And we'll, you know, will progress faster that way if we, us as women, learn that it's okay to desire family. It's okay to be home and take care of your kids. Why are you paying other people to take care of your responsibilities? And then women to counteract this, people who will hear this, probably will dig into the comments and say, well, I have to work. I'm a single mom. You don't understand. Yes, I do understand. I've had three kids and I've had to work. I used to be a stripper. I used to do all of those things. I understand completely that uh, the struggle's real and pimping ain't easy. I get it. Let's, let's get that out the way. That's not the point. I know pimping ain't easy. But at the same time, when you pinch your legs open and you had them kids, you also, you know, fail to think like, you know, well, yeah, pimping ain't easy. And what's going to happen when I got too many kids or when one kid or kid is enough responsibility to where it's like oh jesus christ what do i do now now you're backed up into the corner 
Oh, I got bills. I got responsibilities. I got to feed this child. Everything. Okay, well, there's the trickling effect first. I will even tell myself that. Absolutely. Because that's being honest with yourself. That's what you should be, honest. If we didn't spread our legs so quick, then our kids wouldn't have came into the world so quick. But then again, once our kids are born, we never regret having our kids. We never regret having our kids because they are, they are everything. We are supposed to live for our kids. Not all women live for their kids. Sometimes they have their kids and then they live for themselves. They totally forget about their kids. They're oblivious to their kids to where they're so easily to drop them off in the hands in the care of anybody and everybody. They do a little research on the computer and all of a sudden, up, oh, she's qualified to take care of my child. Up, oh, that facility is qualified. Everything's qualified now. You know, you barely did a Google search and now this person is qualified to take care of that human being that came out of your body, your system. And now that person is qualified. And all because you want money. Because that's all it is. You got to pay rent. Okay, well, you need to find a smaller place. Oh, they won't allow me and my husband and my child to be in there. Okay, there's another way. There has to be another way. It's not that, it's not that closed book and case closed. There is other ways. If there's a will, there's a way. I've always learned that since I was younger. If there's a will, there is a way. But unfortunately, the will is being killed by these crazy people that get online and constantly tell women, you don't need no man, you don't need this, you don't need that. Well, yeah, well, if you can tell those women those things, you need to go and help those women then. Go help them take care of them kids that they have because you told them that it was better to single and mingle. Be single and mingle. But you're not the one taking care of them after that single and mingle got them pregnant, knocked up, and then the guy that they was with don't even respect them anymore because it was so easy to knock her up. That's how easy it's going to be for him to leave her ass. Because it was so easy for him to knock her up. It was no waiting game. It was no respect involved. It was a hit miss, you know, whatever. It was a bam wham, thank you ma'am. And that's it. And all of a sudden now she feels offended. You ain't no good. You left me. Well, were you any good? Did you give him anything to fight with? And then other people say, well, that's his responsibility. He got to take care of his kids anyway. It don't matter what the girl is like or whatever she's like. Yes, it does. It does matter. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And I don't blame half of these guys for leaving half of these girls that they could barely wipe their own ass, but they're having two more of the kids. Granted, they helped them get pregnant, the guy. However, they could barely wipe their ass. And then when the guy tries to be a father and tries to give direction or give order in his home or be a man, there you have that woman, not everybody, but there you have that woman to knock down that man, the little bit of effort that he put in to try to be there for that child and be there for you and do things right. You knock them down. You knocked them down, whether or not it was with your attitude, whether or not it was because you didn't get the Louis Vuitton purse that you wanted to get last week, but you failed to realize that the man is trying to work and now you're mad at him because he's working. You're mad because he doesn't make enough instead of you trying to conform to what he makes so then that way you guys could be a humble family. No, now you want to go get a job instead of staying at home with your kids, but now you're going to go work for the man, another man, to take that same money and go pay another man, the owner of probably the rental where you're at, the same one you're struggling to pay, you won't go take that and give that to him so he can continue to get rich and take care of his family while you continue to get poor and then your husband gets stressed out because you can't conform to the little bit of money that you guys make and then you get mad at him and say that he's a piece of crap. Do you not understand that the trickling effect of that was is that you have the option as a woman to build your house up just from the beginning before you even open up your legs. But a lot of parents fail to tell their kids that from a young age and that's why they grow up to be little hoes. Let's be for real. And then they spread their legs and then they go out and get pregnant. And then the first thing that they have in their mind is single is better to mingle. But they never grasp the concept that What's going to happen when you got to take care of that baby by yourself? I'm going to leave you with that. Y'all go ahead and leave a comment below if you think that this video was useful. And if it was useful enough, definitely make sure you go ahead and pass it and share it along with all your family members and every friend and every person that you think needs to hear this valuable message that most people don't hear and most people are offended to even listen to. And I hope to later on post the edited video that I will, so it won't be that super long, an edited video of me doing some cleaning, giving some motivation to some other ladies, 
other ladies that may be traditional wives. And if you're not a traditional wife, maybe you might learn something from me just seeing that I'm just as average as you. And I'm trying my best to make changes as life progresses and I get older and older and I make better choices versus making worse choices. So if you feel that you're at a level where you're like, listen, I need some guidance. I'm okay with being honest with myself. Let me watch her video, whatever, and see if I could take a piece of hers, take a piece of here, do some here, whatever. And then a lot of these things boils down to simply just picking up a book, going to your local library. You don't even need a telephone or Google or YouTube. You wouldn't even need this video that you're watching now. You technically only need a book and a lot of these books in the library, if you pick the right ones, will give you the knowledge that you so much have always desired to have in your brain. So it can make you a better wife, mother, and a better female overall. Get out of that single mingle mentality. Get in more to the godly mentality. You'll realize that your thing works out for you much better. Things don't work out when you want to be single and mingle like these other, what I call floozies. And if you guys are mad because I said floozies, go ahead and put a comment below and say, I'm mad because you said floozies. I'm not a floozy. And the same person who writes the comment is probably the floozy. I'm just being honest with you. It's usually the people who feel burnt by what you said that feel, that feel offended. You only feel offended if you're the person that I'm talking about, then you feel offended. But then if you're the person that I'm talking about, it should be the opposite and you should feel less offended like the other 5% of people that's watching, little percentage, that don't feel offended. And they say, well, psh, the truth does hurt, but it's the truth. It's the truth. If you're not being a better mom, you're not being a better wife, and you're not being a better woman every day as you get older, no matter what age you may be, whether or not that's 19 going on 20, whether or not that's 20 going on 21, whatever, 30 going on 31, it doesn't matter. Whatever point you may be in your life, if you feel that you're not being womanly enough, trust me, it's the only way to go. It makes you feel better, too. I can't really dig so deep into it. It's going to have to be a lot of videos if I do that, but it's, it's better. It's so much better. That's why when my other book comes out, which I'm already in the process, I'm in the process of writing two more books. And one of those books is The Benefits of the Humble Woman. And when I finish that book, you guys are going to love that book. The Benefits of the Humble Woman. There's a lot of benefits to being humble. It's a lot of benefits. And if you tap into those benefits, it'll make you a better wife and mother or girlfriend, fiance, whatever you may be to that man. Let him know that he's special and he will let you know in return that you're special too. Don't think this is a one-way stream. Like, oh, I'm just telling you to just do this and bow down and do No, the Lord tells us in the scriptures, we can build our house up, but we also can break it down. So you better start building, girlfriend, because you don't want to be one of those ones that's 40 years old talking about, uh, I need a husband. I'm so ready for this. Well, he's not ready for you because half of them wanted to probably... That might sound bad, the word grooming per se, but half of them wanted to kind of groom you from when you were a little bit younger, maybe before you had like five husbands. So it's better to start when you were hus when you're young, you know, maybe if you're 20 something years old and you're, you already find yourself with like two, three boyfriends, like girl, please hang that up. I used to do those. I used to have different mates here and then I used to run the street and do all of that stuff. I used to do that back in the days, many, many years ago. It's not me anymore. It's not me anymore. It's nothing close to me. This is 10 plus, 15 plus years ago. Is this a done deal? It's a wrap. And I de desire much more better for you guys listening to as well, whether or not you know this information or not. But uh, even if you have a husband of 30 years, start doing stuff different. Start doing stuff different, more positive. Start taking him into account. Stop thinking that he's just your little puppet or something, or he's not a man or he's not a real man. Think about how much fault you have in that. Think about how many times you have told him that he ain't S-H-I-T. He ain't this. He ain't that. He ain't about, you know. How many times have you pointed the finger at him and told him how much he wasn't? And then ask yourself, how many times have I told him he was and how much benefits he did for me? Or how much benefits he's doing for me and the children or how much things he does good? Where's the good stuff at? Anyways, love you all very, very much. Talk to you all soon. Hope you love this video.